Welcome to CFI's course on analyzing growth drivers and business risks. There are many tools you can employ to better evaluate a company or a product's likelihood of ongoing success. By the end of this course, learners will be able to define key categories of growth drivers and business risks, compare different business analysis frameworks, define how economic, industry, and company level characteristics may influence business strategies and outcomes, interpret the results of qualitative assessments, and explain how these results may inform financial analysis, including, in particular, model assumptions. For this course, I'm going to demonstrate using the assumptions and drivers section of a model. As we make changes, they'll flow through this three statement projection model that we've built. But you'll see in real time here on these charts on the right, how revenue, margins, and the company's cash flow are affected. If we look here, these are called spark lines. They're a fun visual tool you can use in Excel to help visualize trends, since looking at many years of projections can sometimes be hard on the eyes. Spark lines are a quick way to get a sense of direction and trend. CFI has literally dozens of modeling, accounting, and analysis courses, as well as productivity tools like Macabacus that will help you become a world-class modeler. And we encourage you to try all of these. This course is designed to help learners conceptualize how qualitative analysis can be translated into quantitative analysis by making changes to some of these assumptions. This course is designed for beginner and intermediate business and finance enthusiasts in order to help connect theory to the real world. We have some great stuff to cover. Let's get started.